right, so I'm going to need you to state your, your name in full. My name presently or when I was in training? Uh, when you were in training and when, you know, presently also. Okay, I, I'm Betty Woolsey, my maiden name, Peterman, P-E-T-E-R-M-A to blend. Okay, um, so how old were you when you first thought of becoming a nurse? About eight years old. <laughs> All right, uh, when did you definitely decide to become a nurse? Oh, I think about when I was um, well, about a senior in high school, probably about eight, seventeen. Uh, what influenced the decision? Oh, my mother had a relative that was a, a nurse, and she used to come and have lunch with us. And uh, I was so impressed with her that I thought that that's nice. <laughs> she didn't wear a uniform. See, maybe I might have fallen in love with a uniform, you see, but no, I just knew her, and I thought she was a very nice person. Uh, how would you describe your background, you know, your parents? Did you come from an extended family or a smaller family? Um, I came from a, I'm the youngest of four children, uh, and um, I had a mother and a father. My mother died when I was 14, and uh, at that time I came to California to live with my older sister. And, uh, and the, the two boys were in, in between us, and as far as, you know, rank. <laughs> and, uh, I, I went to John Marshall High School here in, in Los Angeles and graduated from there, and then I went on to City College. All right. Um, what or who were your support systems uh, prior to coming to CHSN, did you, and did they change? My support system. I guess my sister was my biggest support system, and uh, she, she was a bit older than I, and so that's all I, I can think of. All right. Um, what schools of nursing did you consider, and why did you uh, why did you choose CHSN? Let's see. I uh, was looking into the Good Samaritan here in in Los Angeles, and um, the uh, let me see where else were they? Oh, in the Huntington in Pasadena, and then I applied back in St. Louis, where I originally am from, and um, let's see, and, and then California. And so, uh, California Hospital. And so, uh, and being uh, about 19, 18 years old, then I decided that, um, as all 18-year-olds, they think about their comfort first, you know. And I thought, what am I doing, going back to St. Louis and all that hot weather in the summertime? You can't stand. In the winter time, it's so cold you can't stand it. Get me out of there. <laughs> so they accepted me, but uh, I thought, no thanks, but no thanks. So then I came here because they had the degree program. I was in a cadet corps, the, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the um, cadet nurse corps during the Second World War. Oh, all right. Um, you care to elaborate on that? Well, it, um, nurses were at a premium during uh, in the civilian hospitals during the, the Second World War because so many of them were in the service, and so they needed a, an influx of nurses fast. So they they the Bolton Act was a, a congressional act that. Um, um, established a, a fund that paid for uh, your, your room and board and, and everything that you needed while you were in training and uh, your uniforms and, uh, and um, your schooling and all that sort of thing. And so I thought, hey, that, that, that's pretty good because I didn't really have enough money to do that and, my, and I was depending on my father to help me out. But anyway, um, and so um, I decided I would st stop going to City College. And, uh, and, and go into the Cadet Nurse Corps. And that, that was a three-year program until we graduated. And, and then our, our, um, our um, payback to the government was that we would agree to our last six months of training go into the service or, um, or into some, or the Veterans Administration or that sort of thing. However, when, when I graduated, which was 1946, they were dismantling you know, the services and they didn't want to be bothered with any student nurses, so uh, we had to go into civilian hospitals for our last six months of training, or we had to go to the to um, Veterans Administration, uh, the Indian Reservation. I thought, uh-uh, not for me. Uh, and, <laughs> and so um, I chose to go into the civilian hospital, and at that particular time, Santa Monica Hospital was affiliated with California because they were both under the Lutheran Society, and so I went down my roommate and I went down to Cal to the Santa Monica Hospital for six months and did our, our duty down there. Right. Um, 
see, uh, what do you recall of the application process? You know, who interviewed you? you know, Was it an individual? I, I cannot remember that, you know. Um, I had that, you know, thing to fill out. But um, um, I was in Oregon with my sister, whose husband was in the service at that time, and I spent the summer up there. So when they, when they decided that they would accept me here, well, see, I don't know whether anybody interviewed me except for my application and that sort of thing, because I, I can't remember that. I, I have no good feelings about it or bad feelings about it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just came down here to go into training. Um, what are your early memories of your first classes at the School of Nursing? Mm, frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Something that, you know, that most 18-year-old uh, or 19-year-old kids do not uh, have any background in because they go along leading their happy little lives, you know, and, and they don't know that there's sickness and illness and, and uh, death and all that sort of thing going on in the world. And here you are thrown right in the middle of it, and, you're, and, uh, uh, and, and, and the responsibility that they tell you is going to be yours is, is really frightening. <laughs> All right. Um, do you remember your first teachers, maybe? Mm, I remember a few of them. Um, Esther Olson was probably the most influential and, and also the most memorable of, of, of the faculty. And, you know, I'm getting old, and I haven't got a, such a good memory anymore. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was uh, California Hospital like when you arrived? When I arrived? Uh, well, it was not what it is now. It's the old building, and um, uh, of course, it, it was it was erected in in 1926, and this is 1943. See, and so uh, it was considered a, a very very good hospital at that particular time. I, I guess it's a good hospital right now, I didn't mean to infer that, but anyway, and so, um, uh, it, well, I'd never been in a hospital except once in my life, and uh, as a visitor, and, and so I had no, uh, no idea what, what it would be like to be in a hospital eight hours a day and, and three years in my life. <laughs> All right, um, what do you remember about moving into the dorm? Did you have a roommate, you know, was she someone you already knew? Well, where you are sitting right now, was uh, the original um, dorm for the for the School of Nursing, and it was called Larson Hall, and uh, it was quite small because the classes that they take took in um, from 1941 to 1943 were very small, and so uh, they had uh, uh, all private rooms. Well, <laughs> when the cadet corps nurse, nurses came in, we had 42 in our class, and so they had to double us up and and practically sleep on top of each other. But anyway, soon they took over Moore Hall. Do you know where that is up the street? Okay, that's where the nurses, the student nurses, well, if they had a student, if they had a school of nursing, that's where they dorm would be. And they remodeled that uh, hotel to accommodate us, and then they moved us in there. We had, I had a roommate in a very small room um, here and, uh, until they got that opened. And then we moved up there, and then for, oh, I guess maybe a couple of years, we, we had uh, private rooms. With just it was a hotel, you know, and so therefore we had a, a room and a bath all to ourselves, which was quite a treat, and and so um, but that's what I remember. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, what are some of your favorite memories of dormitory life? You know, any social events stand out? Well, let's see. You see, it was during the war, and, and most of us who had boyfriends, they were in the service, and uh, and so there weren't very many young men around, so we had to do girl things. <laughs> and, uh, but I do remember that uh, one of the, what we did have was a, a, a dance and the uh, boys from the, from USC, uh, um, ROTC, uh, would come up and, and be our escorts for the dance. And the dance occurred in the lobby of the dorm. And so anyway, oh, it was very exciting. And, and so, <laughs> but anyway, other than that, why, we didn't have a lot of time off. And, uh, and when we did have time off, we were so tired, all we wanted to do was sleep. But um, uh, that's about the only real big activity that we had during those years. Wartime, wartime changes everything. Uh, do you remember maybe lockouts for house mothers that you had? Oh yes, Mrs. Adams was our house mother. She was a flighty little lady. <laughs> and um, 
we lost a couple of our girls because they thought they were smarter than everybody else. And I mean, as far as the the um, administration uh, was concerned and the house mother, and they would sneak out, you know, down through the basement and out and fix the door so that they could get back in. Well, I don't know what how it happened, but they caught them and they bounced them right out of training. We started out with 42 in our class and 19 of us graduated. So that was pretty culling them down. <laughs> All right. Um see uh, what are some of your favorite memories of the time spent at the library you know during study hours after class maybe doing research well since we had private rooms see we, we didn't really need um, a private kind of study area uh, so we did all most of our studying in the in the um, our own rooms and then we, they, they had the library there which was uh, adequate I suppose but nothing outstanding however if we needed to we could go over to the hospital and go into the physicians library, they had a, a library there for the physicians, mostly technical books and things like that, more than we had. And so anyway, but um, other than that, why, most of the time, <laughs> as I say, during the war, you see, they worked us very hard because there were very few um, uh, registered nurses on duty in the hospital, they were in the service. So the student nurses really ran the hospital as far as patient care. So by the time you finished working in the hospital and going to class, you were so tired when you got home, you didn't want anything to do with but crash. And so... <laughs> All right. Uh, were you living um, in California or were you living outside before you came to Cal California Hospital? Well, I told you I spent the summer of 1943 in, in Oregon, Corvallis, Oregon, with my sister. And then when they accepted me in training, then I came down here in August. So that was, a, that was the only time I lived out of California. Oh, I mean, I came out here when I was 14. And, and so from that on, I was, went to school and everything here in Los Angeles, uh, other than that brief period. All right, um, let's see. Uh, what was downtown Los Angeles like when you first arrived? Um, did any major events occur? you know, while you were here? Not that I can remember. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we had the Zoot Suiters, and uh, uh, do you know what the Zoot Suiters are? Uh, I have a faint memory. Yeah, well, it's, it's a, uh, they were Hispanic, it was a Hispanic gang, and who used to wear um, these, let's see, uh, full, full trousers with a long kind of uh, redding coat on, you know what I mean? And then these long keychains, uh, key I remember that they used to walk around like this, you know? <laughs> Right. Scare the wits out of you, and um, but um, other than that, uh, of course, uh, Los Angeles uh, was so much smaller and everything, and and uh, the skies were blue and there was no smog, and that's what I remember. <laughs> All right. Um, what what is the best thing about nursing to you? Well, I think it's a very satisfying profession. It's a very um, uh, hard-working profession. You work hard, and. Um, and uh, it's, as I say, it's, it's always been, uh, I think, the goal of almost any nurse to, to get satisfaction for herself and for her patients. And I think that's basically what nursing is all about. Uh, was there a downside beside the crashing and the studying to, to, to nursing? To nursing? No, no, no. I've enjoyed my career. Uh, have you had any other careers besides no, nursing? No. Just that well, I mean, I, I've never been a hospital nurse uh, or a floor, nur floor nurse. Um, I had enough of it when I was in training. And so, uh, but I really uh, got my degree and, 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 and I'm a public health nurse. So I was a school nurse for 31 years in Los Angeles. And so uh, I prefer dealing with the well people and trying to keep them well than the sick and trying to make them well. <laughs> Uh, well, in your opinion, why should we remember California Hospital School of Nursing? Well, why should you or, or I? Just we. We, yes. okay. Well, uh, from my standpoint, uh, um, it was an excellent um, uh, an education that they gave us down here. And uh, also, I think it uh, helped us, uh, uh, what should I say, learn to discipline ourselves and discipline, really. And, <laughs> and uh, learn how to deal with stresses and uh, all kinds of things like that that we as young nurse, young women never had in our lives before so so it, it matures you fast and as far as the, the rest of the people why it, it's always been a good hospital 
and, uh, and, they, and they've always given good care. And if it hadn't been for the student nurses, I don't know how they would have run that hospital because, you see, we were doing day, day duty, afternoon duty, night duty, all kinds of duty, you know, that we wouldn't ordin that they don't, they don't do now. See, they don't do that now. And they have much more help on the floor now than they did before and when we were doing it. All right. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add about, you know, your experiences? No, no. I am. Um, since I graduated, I, as I say, I've worked for the LA City School District for 31 years, enjoyed every bit of that, and now I'm retired and I'm enjoying every bit of that. <laughs> but uh, so, nothing, other than that, no. But I enjoyed the camaraderie of all the, the nurses because we were all in the same boat, and when anybody had a gripe, we'd all say, oh, 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 we're in that boat with you. <laughs> so it made you feel a little bit better because you had a little support there. There were lots of frustrations in training, and I don't know how many times I quit, but uh, <laughs> I had a roommate that was very dedicated, and she said, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. you got too much involved, too much time in, in, in invested in this, and you can't do that. So I said, okay, I'll go on a little bit longer. <laughs> All right.